Good morning and welcome to my channel. I am Polly Michelle and I do appreciate you clicking in to watch this video on today. So what I have for you today is my 2019 planner lineup. This is my MVP of planners. This is what my system is going to be for this year, starting this year. Um, I actually, I am going to be adding one more planner to this lineup, but I have not set it up yet. So I will not mention that one in this video, but I will have another video that will outline that planner, which is going to be a faith planner um, based primarily on scripture writing. So yeah, so these three that I have in front of you today are my go to it's by tried and true it's what has been working for me um these first two weeks in 2019 and i kind of just want to go through each one of them and show you how i'm using them so if you would like to have more options um then just stay tuned i have the erin condren hardbound this is my stay at home plan all the things planner. This is the planner that I use to plan everything out for my entire schedule. Everything. Everything is going to be in here. So then I come to this system and I call it a system because it encompasses two planners. This is my on the go walk it as I talk it type of system and it encompasses a personal planner um, a daily to do system which is here in the back that I've just slipped in here this is my daily on the go which this is what I was going to only use but then I realized that I wanted something else so then I incorporated this along with it which has given me a little bit more room to do some additional things in my planning. And then finally we come to this Happy Notes Notebook. Um, I'm quite excited about this because I am a member of a Facebook group uh, called BWWPPC, I believe, uh, Black Women Who Plan and Create. And um, I've been checking in on them so much more recently and they have been giving so many suggestions and um, showing how they're using their plans for 2019 and giving us a lot of options and I've adapted some of those options and um, I'll talk about those today. So first one we're going to dive into is my catch-all which is my Erin Condren uh, hardbound. I purchased this on last year. I started to use this system then and I really, really, really enjoyed it. I really enjoy this system. Um, I use all stickers in this system. I do not stick just to the Erin Condren stickers. I use all stickers, Happy Planner, um, Recollections, anything. So yeah, and I'll probably do a little mini flip through I'm very inconsistent in keeping one planner. I have several, as you can see. So everything would not be in here at times. I did switch it up in the middle of 2018 because I kind of wanted to feel out what I wanted. But this year, I will not do that. Everything will be in here. This planner will not take me to the end of 2019, unfortunately. But we will use it as long as we can. Okay, so... How I'm using this. So what I do in this planner, and if you, I'll flip here. So this was August. Oh, let me get you in frame. Sorry. So this was August, and I was using this planner in August faithfully, and then I kind of just dropped off. I dropped off when school started back out, and then I, I adapted a more on-the-go system. For school so I did not do this anymore but I wanted to pull it back in so I counted out the weeks and tried to figure out how I can incorporate it back in and then I started to use it for the end of the year so this was my December spread 
um, December 17th through the 23rd. I kind of used it there. And then I went on and used it here for uh, my vision board and my word of the year, which another video will be coming to explain this to you more. I have my January monthly that I'm using it for. And then I started, this is Christmas week. And here we find the first week of the year. So I just started doing that. And I'm putting everything in here. Like I said, everything is going in here. This is my sit down Sunday plan, decorate type system. And I've been using that. But I've been also using it to plan ahead. So as you can see, this is this week. I have not finished uh putting things in here but I've been planning ahead because next week school starts back for me and I've been trying to change up my system I kind of like the school um, the student planner layout how they have the the weekdays over here and then they have the um, like work or whatever over the task up here but I could not really work for get it to work for me so uh, if I show you a previous spread, how this looks is very similar, but instead of having a so actual sidebar, I separated out my sections and I divided it with washi to try and see how I like that. Um, and pretty much this is just work, personal, and school, and then I'll put washi underneath here. Um, and I kind of wanted to just see how that would work for me for right now so that I could have more of um, a system instead of something like this where I'm just going through and saying what I'm doing each day but so much so as planning out what I need what needs to be done in each area of my life on a daily basis this is going to give me more focus in my opinion so that is the reason why I um, adapted this so I could look at this on a daily and see what's going on in that area of my life you know and then I, I can fit things in if need be, or I can kind of take things out. So that is how I am using this system. And like I said, it is a plan ahead, not as I go system. So I'm planning ahead um, in this system. So then I would take these, this right here, I would go to this planner. And this is my on the go planner, like I said. I'm kind of taking this one with me and it's very small here and I could just pop this out but I just kind of did not want to have this just walking around with this little mini I got this from Target it was like five dollars and if you can see it's like really the size of my hand I really enjoy the smallness of it that is so simple and so petite I like that and it's marble you know it's, it's pretty pretty nice design but here I'm going to just zoom in a little bit for you guys so you can see this system a little bit closer. So here in this system you have it's a weekly monthly planner and it's very simple. Here you have your monthly calendar and then after your monthly calendar you'll have your weeks. And it's a horizontal planner spread. And you have your weeks and simply what I'm going to be putting here is where what things I have to do what's happening that day that I need to know like this day I know I need to go to school I have clinical at 7 a.m. this day I have nothing this day I'm at working and I, I'm have school which is a conflict I have to fix that um, here I have no school I'm on vacation after school you see I'm saying this is test day and if this was anything else like um, work or church or anything, um, go to the grocery shop, whatever, it would be in here. But after I plan in my catch-all, I add those things to here. You understand? And this is simply places I am going. So this is telling me I'm having a test so I know I have to go to school to take that test. These uh, stethoscopes are for uh, work because I am in the healthcare field. So I just went in advance and uh, decorated as many months as I could because I'm not going to be using the monthly for anything because everything is in my catch-all. Um, this monthly is simply going to be for decoration. So I just tried to decorate them and I will add more decorations as we go. 
uh, for different holidays and stuff like that. Just trying to add a little zhuzh, zhuzh to it. And I didn't go through the whole planner, but that's that. So you see how I'm using that. And that's going to be just my little on the go. Um, I did not want to just, like I said, carry this, this thing here around. I wanted to have more of a system. So I have adapted this uh, personal planner um, system here. I did get some scrap booking paper and make these things here on the side with some Simply Gilded Washi. I will add more to that in the coming future. I just have not really narrowed into what I want. Here I have some vellum that I purchased from um, either it's Hobby Lobby or Michaels that I got this vellum from. But I lined the side with some washi tape that says Believe. I think that's very inspirational for this year. And let me just let me just zoom down in a little bit more. Okay. Okay, hope you guys can see pretty good. But I have this believe washi tape on here. And I believe that as well that has helped, you know, with turning the pages. So yeah. So I have that there. Um, and then I have this uh, scrapbooking paper that I cut down to size and I added the dream big sticker I added the planner society girl clip there and then in between this because I just uh, washi taped to the front and the back together because I didn't want it to be a permanent thing I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it so in the middle I just added this to do header um, I think it's a tab it's a to-do tab from the Planner Society kit. I just added that there. And here I put this scrapbooking paper. This is a, from a scrapbooking book in Michaels. Um, and it says work. And this little label thing was there too. And I, it just went good with the scrapbooking paper. So I kind of put those things together. And here I'm just, I'm just going to be like um, writing out all of my just to-dos as they come to mind I will just write out all my to-dos I will not you know use this for a daily but more so of a monthly so by the end of the month I should have accomplished 20 to-dos and it's just simply things that I need to do that is not like a daily thing you know um, yeah so like buy tires like I, I just need to remember I need to get that path done before the end of the month that's something that I need to do okay so when you buy this little recollections planner at Michaels and that's what this little that's what this is this is a recollections planner for Michaels when you buy this you get these to-do pages in there for, along with the planner and I had some little gold tabs um, flags that were like sticky notes and I just put them together to do this it's not really serving much of a purpose but I thought it would look nice and then, so this divider comes with the planner, and here we go with another vellum, and I use this cross uh, washi here on the edges, and then I, I got this scrapbooking paper, which is marble, and I washi taped it with this one. This kind of looks like a notebook paper, and I kind of like that, so I put this piece of this cut out from scrapbook paper and this is a sticker I added here this sticker I got from Hobby Lobby set it said good things come to those who hustle which is true we have got to stay focused this year so here are just some grid papers um, I thought I could do maybe some memory keeping or if there's any like significant things that I need to know that I want to illustrate here I could do that instead of just jotting it down and the next uh, dash divider, excuse me, is uh, another piece of scrapping booking paper that says dark and dramatic, which I am very dramatic, so I put that on there. And I just adhered it with some Simply Gilded Washi, the 5mm. Here's another sticky note that I made into a tab. And these are just like reminders. Just reminders for January um, that I need to focus on. Um, I changed jobs in 2018, so I need to make sure that I change my address with my previous job so that I can get my W-2 form. That wouldn't be any problem. And I put this last um, divider in the back to help me turn the pages. And here goes another sticky note tab. And then I added here this little pocket in the back. This pocket is from Target. 
and um, I only have it here and I will and I have one here actually I do have one here let me see do I have one on this one too no so I just have one here and there and what I'll do is um, I'm going to go through my sticker stash and identify like some little stickers that I could use in on you know in this on the go system so if I'm bored or I'm hanging out at work and I want to do a little planning I'll have the stickers with me and then here's the back I don't have anything in there I have a pen now I've been using this pen this is the precision ink uh, pen it's like a 0 0.5 gel pen this pen is from the Dollar Tree and you get two in a pack for a dollar and I have really been liking this pen um, this is the pen that I use to write this with and some other things in my planners so this pen has been really nice to me so I've been using this pen here and this planner on the go finally this last system is my happy notes notebook and this is exactly what I'm using it for a notebook you know I'm using it for notes so when you open it up you have I kept this because I thought this was cool um, this was sent to me by a planner friend, which I really, really love this. I really, really love this. Um, it has my name, and she just illustrated this for me. She did such an awesome job. So I put that in here. This is my 2019 goals fold out. At Home with Kita created this concept and shared it with all of us here on YouTube. And I just adapted it and... Uh, made my own fold out and I will I have a video showing you guys about that one real soon so just stay focused to the channel but here you have your first divider um, and then I have weekly recap in here which is something that I adapted from the Facebook group like I said and simply it's just every week you ask yourself questions and I've decided to ask myself five questions um, what did I do well? What can I do better? How did I waste time? What changes will I make? And what new things should I do to take my life in the direction that I wanted to go? And it's just to inspire you and just to keep uh, uh, keep you up on par of what's going on in your life. Like, do you have control? Are you meeting your goals? Are you going in a direction that you would want to go? You know, so that is what my focus is just making sure I'm doing what I'm doing you know and then I'm doing it right so I have this out for all of the months of the year here and the amount of weeks and I'll go week by week and do it and I've started on this back to see if I could save paper I could just do it front and back so I'm trying that out and then this is just some dot grid paper here and then I decided to do the transformer um planner you know style i saw that by someone so i adapted that here so then you just what you do is you find another cover and you put them front to back together so then you can just like flip it and then it becomes like a whole another planner but this section it says finance notes but this is just simply going to be just notes and me jotting down any notes that I need to jot down. I haven't really decided what this system, this section is going to be, but I I like this idea, whoever came up with it. I thought it was a really, really smart idea. So that concludes this video. This is my 2019 MVP lineup. These are the planners that are going to keep me focused. Like I said, we will be adding one more to this system. Uh, which will be a faith planner for scripture writing and I simply use the Bible app and write down the scriptures that they give me daily and I would like to focus more on that oh and if you can hear that law whatever they're doing out there I apologize but that this concludes this video I will be pumping them out today so look for more planner videos all day today all of this week Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye.